Hello, welcome to our series How to Get Ready to Play with Playbox Neo. In this episode, you will learn how to set up emergency alert system signaling with Playbox Neo Suite. So let's get started. First, let's look over the diagram and identify the components needed for this setup to work. We have the DASDEX server, which is used to provide that signaling from the, sig the alert system for the particular county. Then, connected to your local network switch, creates two types of data. One is uh, the data service that uh, extracts the visual message, the text, and the second type of data is the audio streaming that we decode to an audible audio to pass on to the airbox in order to interrupt the currently running program with the emergency audio alert. We will go over this stuff a little bit later again. So, uh, you can have this uh, on one server, you can have it on multiple servers in your uh, local network. So let's go and configure the emergency alert system service, the DASDEC server. As you can see, you can add one by just giving it a simple title, select on which uh, interface on the server is connected, uh, IP port, IP address, and that's it. I have one pre-configured here. As you can see, just give it a name, put the internet address, port, IP address. So currently, this is all we need to do here. Let's go to input output settings, go to streaming, sources, and we have to configure an internet radio, which is essentially the signal I was describing as audio streaming, the audio stream from the service. So this is an internet radio in essence, so you just give it a name, the URL and your, and that's all you need to do to set up the service. I have one pre-configured here, as you can see just gave it a name uh, and there is a URL, this URL you can find by logging into your DASDEC uh, server and there is a particular link uh, for this device, you copy paste it here and that's all you need to do to create this setup. You can leave the other parameters unchanged. So we have the streaming service coming to our new suite. Now we have to go to the inputs and configure decoder for this service in order to hear it as a PCM audio and pass it on to the airbox. You see this is a streaming decoder, you give it a name, network source, this is the device I created, uh, the stream that I configured in the previous step. I have one pre-configured here, so you can see, just I gave it a name, um, select the network source, this is the stream that I pre-configured in the previous step, and that's it. Now I'm decoding this uh, signal as an audible PCM audio in the system. We go to Airbox, go to Setup, output, go to the emergency alert system tab, enable audio and then from the drop menu select the stream you want uh, to monitor in order to replace the original audio from the program. While there is, there is a silence on this uh, audio there will be no change on the playlist, uh, the audio coming from the program. In the moment when there is audio it will mute the original program and it will override with uh, this audio stream, in this case with the audible alert. So, don't be alarmed if this shows disconnected status, it's only active when there is an actu actual alert going on in, the, in this time, so this is perfectly fine. So, next we have to go and configure our uh, visual portion of the service, which will be this data extracted, passed into data provider in title box and used as a text in the object showing lower third on the screen. So let's open our title box. I'll just load a simple project which contains 
one object as you can see it's not started yet and it has crawl text I, I go to the data providers this crawl object just configure it with the emergency alert system data provider to be connected as you can see the settings here are very simple I have it set up to reset on the, uh, the cursor on the data change and the most important start object on uh, automatic update of the object of the text of the object so this right now there is nothing set up this will start automatically when I simulate right now a emergency alert and you can see in the lower third of the screen the object start to play now I'm simulating the emergency trigger as you can see the text is loaded from this data stream and automatically the scroll started running you can give it a time to be shown on the screen or activate a script to watch for the end of the stream and one, while there is no more data it will um, just stop the object in the configuration of the emergency alert system server does that you can see that there is a log file here created for every uh, emergency trigger there is a raw data option here that you can copy you can see specific time start time and uh, the, the information in this message so if for legal purposes you need to to have this data you can just copy paste it and use it in in other uh, places as uh, information Thank you very much for watching this. You can see how easily you can set up emergency alert system with Playbox Neo Suite. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time.